in as well. Okay, this is also extremely important, your inflammatory response. This ties in as well with allergies, which we'll get to. Um, so your inflammatory response is part of your innate immune system. So again, it's this sort of one size fits all idea. So we've got damage occurring to the site. So this is our intact skin. We've now got a hole that first line is breached. Um, so these damaged cells release chemical signals. So the damaged cells around here will detect that they've been, you know, like the cells in the tissue here will detect that they've been damaged and that will sort of call your innate immune system into play. Remembering that your innate immune system is very quick. Um, so your macrophages are, you know, ready. They're going, okay, I'm coming to the site of infection. Time to help out. Your mast cells, which are these ones here, remember that they sit in the tissue. Unlike these other cells, they're not running through the bloodstream. These ones don't move. They sit in the tissue um, and they'll, they'll kind of recognize like, oh, you know, something's going on here. And they will release these molecules here, the histamine. And the histamine really gets everything going in this inflammatory response. Um, so we have our main sort of symptoms. So redness, heat, swelling, pain, and loss of function. It's like a thing there, like your five like cornerstones, like major things of your inflammation. Um, and they all kind of come as a result of this sort of histamine and this idea of getting your immune cells into this location. Um, so the redness is because you dilate your blood vessels. So your blood vessels become leakier, they become more permeable, they become wider. So vasodilation, and that just increases the blood flow and allows more immune cells to get to the site quicker. The heat is because of that as well, because your blood is warm. Um, the swelling is because your blood vessels become, as I mentioned, like leakier and more permeable. And this allows immune cells to squeeze through the gaps a little bit more easily. Um, so that idea of them becoming more per permeable, sorry, means that your immune cells can come through. And so again, this causes a lot more cells in this area, a lot more liquid, you know, fluid in this area. And that's why you get this swelling. Um, pain you get just because of the damage to the area. And again, all of these cells in this one spot and loss of function is kind of similar to that as well in terms of all this activity going on here. Um, but yeah, that's what you've got. So your blood cells are leaky and more permeable. So all of these, you know, neutrophils, macrophages, your dendritic cells, they're all kind of coming in to help out. Um, and a lot of phagocytosis will go on. Um, and then basically they will, we'll talk about phagocytosis. They'll engulf these pathogens um, and then this will ultimately link us to the third line of defense, so adaptive immunity. But in general, that's what we want to think about. So we can see that the blood is leaking out here because of all our immune cells coming in. Um, so these are our phagocytes. So you can see here, it's just engulfing this little pathogen and it'll absorb it and just chop it up and kill it, basically. Um, okay, so we'll work through a little practice question. So which of the following matches a cell correctly with its role in an immune response? So um, basically working through a process of elimination here. So macrophage stimulates inflammation by secreting interferon. No, because cells that secrete interferon, it's your virally infected cells. Um, dendritic cell presents fragments of antigens to T helper cells. That sounds about right, because remember that dendritic cells are a really good... Um, APC, so an antigen presenting cell. Mast cell engulfs bacteria and debris. No, that would be more so a macrophage sort of thing. A mast cell, it's really key with releasing histamine. Remember that mast cells don't move, so they wouldn't make very good um, you know, things to engulf bacteria. And your neutrophil secretes antibodies. I know we haven't talked about antibodies, but they're associated with the adaptive immune system um, and your neutrophil is part of the innate. So that's why B is correct.